Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Die Hard M here with you for episode 21 of Support Force Live. Yes, number 21. We are getting up there with numbers. It is awesome. I'm so happy to be here with you guys again. We took a little bit of a break here for a couple weeks, uh, but we are back at it with our new feature creator. Uh, if all of you do not know what Support Force is, uh, just to give you a little background, we are a multi-platform content creator support community. We are a family of content creators, no matter what you do, whether you're a makeup artist, whether you do TikTok, whether you're a streamer, musician, whether you just want to sit there and just be like this on stream. Yes, just like that. Doesn't matter. We are there to support you no matter what. No matter what platform you are. You could be on DLive, Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, Instagram. No matter where you are at, we will be there for you and with you the whole way. Whether you just need a little bump to help you guys go and get started or whether we're your for forever home, we are a community for you. Please, by all means, Hit up our website, supportforce.co, supportforce.ca, supportforce.info. Any of those sites, you can go on there and read about us. You can also join our Discord directly by going to discord.gg forward slash supportforce. I'm sure we'll get one of the one of the people out there to put that in the uh, in the chat for that for everybody for the links. Please make sure that you hit us up and join us. We are definitely for everybody. Whether you just want a family to be around, you want a community of people just to talk, or you know maybe you're not even a streamer and you just want to be able to go find some good content and support people that are working hard at content creating, we are there for you. So please, please, please hit up those links and join us. We would be so happy to add you to our family. We have just hit the 600 member mark too on our Discord server, which is huge. So cool that we got to that number. It is amazing that we are growing like we are. We're coming up to one year soon, but we're not there. We're not at a year yet, and we already have 600 people in our Discord. So props to everybody, all the members, all the staff people. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for all your hard work and everything that you do for support for us. Also, hey, if you haven't noticed, ha, 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 we got merch. We got support for us merch. Yes, this is the white hoodie that we have. So if you want to demonstrate it, huh, 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 he, 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 he. That's right. Somebody will drop the link out there for the support force merch. Make sure you go and hit that up and get some great merch out there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Toots. That's right. That's, that's what I do. If you haven't noticed the DILF jumping uh, jumping around sticker, that's me. That's when I hit 1,000 followers on DLive. That's the dance that I did. So, <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. So for the reason that we're here, we are here to get to know our featured creator a little bit better. He's an awesome guy. He's on DLive. He is a very integral part of this community. He is always around to support people. He lives on the West Coast, so he's on a little bit later, but we love him and we appreciate him so much. He is none other than the one, the only, Jay Banda. Hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, How are you? Sweet dance. I, I great. I try, man. I try. Dude, rabbits, rabbits needs to watch out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for that modeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, how are you today, sir? I'm good, man. It's hot. Yeah. Hot today. Yeah. What's it like over there in the West Coast right now? What's What's the temperature like? It was 96 yesterday, Ooh. and it's just it's hot. There's no humidity. Yeah. It's just really hot. Well, a rare. Believe me, a dry heat's better than when we get, uh, you know, 96 over here in Michigan and it's all oh, humidity. Man. You can cut the air with a knife. It sucks. It sounds so gross. It I don't is. look forward to that. <laughs> Believe me, it's, uh, you know, down in the nether regions, you need a lot of baby powder when you go out. Trust me. <laughs> oh, my God. That's brutal. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Just remember. Oh, okay. He's louder than me, so we'll just do this. That hurt is louder than Banda? Oh. We just to do that little bit of adjustment, and that should be good. 
Maybe I should get, you think, no, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> so, Banda, why don't you go ahead and take the floor for a second, tell the people a little bit about yourself and then, uh, you know, where you're from, what you like to do with that, and we'll go from there. All right, my name, I go by Jay Banda, 911. You guys can call me Banda. Most people just call me Banda, or everybody's been starting to call me Banda Panda for some reason, but it's okay. I'm cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Southern California. I am married with two children. I'm married to my wife. I have known her for 15 years, but we've been married for almost five in November. We have a mini backyard homestead where we raise our own meat, our own vegetables. We have chickens and ducks, rabbits, guinea pigs. Haven't eaten them yet though. <laughs> I don't know about that. I kind of feel weird about it, but. <laughs> Um, I stream when I can, you know, I uh, stream around 930 Pacific time because I am in Southern California. So it's a little bit later for me. Right. I'm a huge um, RPG fan. I do like some shooters and I'm a huge music guy and I'm a huge car guy also. Nice, nice, nice. I'm sure we'll get, uh, I'm sure we'll get some questions from Rebel about cars and we'll get in the oh, chat. Yeah. I'm positive we will <laughs> yes totes he will not eat the guinea pigs <laughs> not yet if it comes to it maybe <laughs> <laughs> who knows with the rona who knows what's gonna happen oh, okay <laughs> yeah who knows <laughs> well banda you know i'm so happy to have you here i uh, really am um so glad for everybody else to get to know you a little bit better um why don't you tell us a little bit about um what got you into streaming in the first place <sighs> Okay, I've always played games, but I got injured around 2015. I was working for a sister company of Boeing, and we were sanding and planing, sanding and painting aircraft. And I would work 12-hour days, six to seven days a week, nonstop. And there's days where I wouldn't get home after like 14, 15 hours of work. Are you talking about like there. Boeing 747s and that? Yeah. Oh. We used to sand and paint them. Okay, hold on one second. Before we get to go in there, how long would it take you to like paint one plane? Dude, it took days to do it. Because the, the way you started is you 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 have to tape off the aircraft. And we, we did 747s, 737s, 777s, 720s. So we'd have to tape off the entire aircraft first with um, metal tape. You know, the astronaut tape. Okay. Dude, that stuff was, it would slice your hand open if you didn't wear gloves. Oh. So we'd have to tape off the aircraft first, and then they spray this industrial stripper all over the aircraft. On these giant, out of fire hoses, you would spray it all over the aircraft. Right. And then, you know, it would start, you'd sit there and wait for the, the paint to start melting off eventually. And then we have to go and spray off the aircraft and then sand it. So these whole masks that we have to wear out indoors right now, yeah, they used to have to wear full hazmat suits for twelve hour days. Oh, in heated hangers in Victorville in the summer. In oh a yeah, heated hanger because you need to. They need to dry the paint and everything. They're not just yeah. going to let it sit there. Yeah, Jesus man. Dizzy yeah. asked a real quick question too. Like, how many guys were on the crew that you would have to paint like one plane? They had certain painters. They had certain levels. Right. At painter ones, painter two, three, painter four. It was usually um, about two or three people painting each part of the aircraft. Okay. Um, the big, the tail, they'd have one person on one side and another guy on another side. And then they do all the crazy designs on it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. It's crazy. Yeah. And I, I could imagine. It was scary though, because we worked with, um, we worked with hexavalent chromium. Do you know what that is? Yes. Yeah. The um, that hexavalent chromium chrome six is still in the primer that we use today on vehicles, on aircraft, on anything. Isn't that the same stuff that was Aaron Brockovich? Yep. Yeah, because I don't know if you. If, it was national news for a while. Did you hear about the mm -hmm. green ooze in Michigan? No, there is, is there is. I know we're getting a little bit off topic, but because we're talking about this on our one of our major freeways, there was green ooze leaking out of this hole, and the 
on on the freeway and everybody saw it and they were just like eh, you know whatever it's just <laughs> shit but it turns out that there was this run down broken down building that was at the top you know of the service drive of the freeway and everything and it had been closed for like six years well, it turns out the owner dumped and stored like all these broken down barrels of that chromium shit in the basement and it leaked oh in there and it was finally coming out onto the freeway. So they had that whole section like walled off and everything. CDC was there and everything else trying to and they like took That's the insane took the uh, owners to court and everything else like that. And people like were talking like I've worked there for, you know, years and didn't even know about this. So. Yeah, I worked right next to George Air Force Base, and that's a ghost town now. Yeah, it was. It's a. It's a little tiny, um, like military housing, and it's it's absolutely run down. I think the hexavalent chromium was getting in the water, and people were drinking it. Right. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that stuff's scary, dude. We had to wear full hazmat masks because it wasn't bad when you were painting the aircraft. Mm -hmm. It's when it became became a fine fiber from. Or when it became fine. Right. From sanding the aircraft is when we had to wear the full hazmat. Oh yeah. Suits. I can yeah, imagine. You die, dude. People, yeah, I had to sign a waiver letting them know, like, hey, if I get cancer, it's not their fault. Wow. <laughs> and for ten fifty an hour. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It honestly it is. It was crazy. All it right, crazy. so let's continue on after uh, <laughs> what you are saying, that you used to do that. You're talking about uh, when you got injured. Yeah, um, so I got those um, – Planner's fasciitis, and then I got heel spurs really mm -hmm. bad from constantly being on my feet. Right. And then um, the work put me on um, workman's comp. And then... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the word, she said, make sure I don't say any company names because I can get sued. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. So... <laughs> <laughs> I was we'll take care of it in post production. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Crown, take notes on when to bleep stuff out, okay? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> when for you sure. redo it for YouTube. <laughs> okay, so I was going to their doctor every every month. They would um, call me in, ask me how everything's doing. I say my feet hurt like hell. Right. They're like, all right, go home for a month. We'll see you in a month. They give me, a, and then it just happened. It just kept going and going and going, and they never ever took care of anything. So okay. it just started getting worse and worse. And then this, what, four years later, they still have done nothing. So I have nerve damage in my feet now. Right. So that's what started me streaming. My buddy was talking about it. I honestly, I used to, I thought it was a joke. I not, I, I thought it was funny. Like, why would someone pay me money, you know, to watch me play video games? I right. thought it was the weirdest thing. Yeah. But now I understand. <laughs> like it's pretty cool. It's, it's, right. I guess it's, the, it's the technology. Yeah. So where are we living now? It's interesting. Well, I know you're an older guy. You know, I'm. Uh, I believe I'm a lot older than I'm much I'm older than you. Thirty-one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm twelve years older than you. But like It'll thinking about. Me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. You know, thinking about like growing up and if they had, if this was available back then when I was, you know, in like even in high school or even like just fresh out of high school, it would have like changed everything to oh, be yeah, able to for do sure. this, you know, but yeah. I'm looking at this like, hey, this could be retirement for me, <laughs> you know, eventually. Yeah, man, it could be. Yeah, <laughs> especially. Yeah, it definitely could be. It is, some people make a ton of right. money on this. I watched Dr. Disrespect and his his channel gets more and more every single day right even harris heller i started watching harris heller he had about 300 viewers and now he's out over a thousand viewers that's insane but not even you not even to mention the the um uh the endorsements that they get on top of what they get on the streams too you know yeah it's incredible absolutely incredible who would have thought right playing video games for a living <laughs> grandma's boy status well it's funny because <laughs> i had i had a job interview today and one of the questions the guy asked me he goes well let me ask you this he goes because i work in it he goes what would be your dream job outside of it and i said honestly i said i would be ninja and he goes <laughs> ninja and i'm like yeah i like i stream games yeah. you know and that i do i love video games i said i would love to get paid to play video games on stream and stream it for everybody to watch and that i go he gets paid millions of dollars to do that and i'm like 
absolutely i would love to do that as my job yeah so, why not why uh, not it's something you enjoy right and then he got into asking me questions about well what games do you play and everything else so i had to go had to go through all that well as a matter <laughs> of fact here's my twitch come watch me <laughs> yeah right exactly so what was the very first game that you streamed do you remember your, your very first stream i streamed overwatch okay thinking that i was gonna get a ton of viewers because it was such a huge game right <laughs> yeah and then what is because i i know that you play you will play some different games and everything but i know that you're playing paladins a lot right now right yeah yeah paladins is fun i like that game is that is that your go-to game right now for you for now yeah okay i might get bored of it and go somewhere else <laughs> right well, what's, do that. what's your all-time favorite game that you've ever played? Honestly, Ocarina of Time. Okay. I love Zelda. Absolutely love Zelda. I'm sure all the Zelda fans in the house would love loves that too as well. I love Zelda. Uh, what was what was your very first video game you ever played? Do you remember that? I think it was the Atari 2600. Nice. It was. I remember. I remember being about five, six years old loving that game river raid river raid was amazing that was that was just an absolute unbelievable game i loved it dude my my go-to game on atari 2600 and yes we're uh old timers talking here about old time video <laughs> games yeah was yeah, yeah. do you remember the game kaboom where you had the pat you had the paddle dial and you had yeah. three pools, and then there was a mad bomber just dropping bombs over the wall, and you had to just go back and forth and try to catch them all. I think so. We still actually have our Atari. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. I still have it. And we have, we have a man. We have a lot of. I mean, I grew up in the in the in the '90s, so that's when you know technology started right. booming. Then, yeah, I have pictures of when I was six, seven. I think I was like six or seven years old, playing um, regular Nintendo nice and my twin brother and i sitting playing regular nintendo switching back our controller oh okay well there's something we didn't know you're a twin yeah okay where's your twin live he lives in victorville okay he lives about an hour almost two hours from here okay so i know did you you grew up on the west coast yes i'm originally from chicago okay we are from chicago all right and then if I remember correctly, too, and I know we're going, this is this is the way the podcast goes. We just go wherever mm -hmm. the conversation takes us. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, I know you've mentioned in your stream, you, you've mentioned talking with me, too, is that uh, you're, you're, you and your wife are wanting to move back to the East Coast? Yes, yes, yes. We're trying to get to Kentucky. Okay. We, why, want, to, we want to go on a bigger scale than what we're doing now. Okay, why Kentucky? Well, we were looking at Missouri. Mm-hmm. And it's just the tornadoes just scare the hell out of me. Yeah. It scares the absolute hell out of me. Um, we've looked in Michigan because my wife is, her family has tons of land and farms in Michigan. Okay. In um, Traverse City. Yep. I don't know if you've heard of it. Traverse we've City looked, is awesome. Yeah, we've, no, not Traverse City. That's where my cousin, um, White Cloud. Okay. She says it's like right here. Or, yeah, one of those places. Let's see here. White Cloud. Okay, there's a little airport. Yeah, it's a little town, but she has tons of family out there. And she had, they have farms. And so we've thought about just taking over the farms. But she tells me that the, the, just the, the okay. living conditions are really harsh out there. North of Grand Rapids. That's where it's at. Yeah. It's north of Grand Rapids and Muskegon, but in between the two. I see where it's at. Okay. Yeah. I've never been that way. I've only been the, maybe the border of Michigan. But, yeah, we've we've considered it, but. Right. It's just, it, she says it's just too cold for what we want. Yeah. I mean, it's you know? it's what you want to do. You can't really do it year round. That Whereas, you know, if you're down in Kentucky, you may get some frost in that, but it won't be nearly as bad as what you would have in Michigan. Yeah, so I, I really, really want to go to North Carolina. I want to go to Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. But I just know that we will never have the money to afford Asheville, North Carolina. So I've been looking in Kentucky. We've been looking in little towns like Danville area. Mm -hmm. um, 
by Danville, Kentucky, and we found, you know, four bedroom, three bath houses for 10 acres. Right. For under, you know, 120 grand. That's, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah, no, I want to, I, I we just want to get on a bigger scale because it's, man, it gets 114 out here during the summer. <laughs> Rebel. <it's> just, <laughs> Rebel, do not under any circumstances choose New York. <laughs> oh, no, I refuse. I absolutely will never go to New York. <laughs> smog, the smog laws are just as bad as out here. Right. I'm surprised I haven't got pulled over in my truck yet. <laughs> I think it's so ridiculously loud. <laughs> so, you know, your first games were on the 20, Atari 2600. You know, your, yeah. what did you say your favorite game was of all time? You said Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is just an incredible game. Right. Ocarina of Time, um, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy IX. Those are up there with me. Now, what do you what do you play on right now? Do you play on PlayStation or Xbox or I'm playing on Xbox One and then I've been playing on PC. I got I I've found these games. They're called East. East is Y S East, so I've been playing those. They're RPGs. Okay. I've been really, really enjoying those. Are they RPGs or are they JRPGs? JRPGs, J okay. yeah. They are Japanese role playing. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm a huge fan of that. Huge fan of those games. I I was very disappointed because you know you mentioned Final Fantasy VII that I honestly thought that they were going to have it across all consoles. I I thought that that's what the plan was originally, and then when I found out that they weren't, it was just PS4. I was like, God, even PC, let's put it on a PC. I don't care, but I want to play Everybody, that game. I have a couple of friends that think that it's going to be about a year before they put it on a different console. I mean, it makes sense. You get the initial push on PlayStation, especially if Sony paid for it. And said oh, yeah. we want it to be exclusive for a year, um, and then go because God, I think wasn't yeah, it was Grand Theft Auto was exclusive to PlayStation, and then they finally opened it yeah, up to and Xbox. They opened it up to everything. Yeah, apparently they're making a number six. They're talking about development. Yeah, it's already that's gonna be yeah. insane. Number five was insane. That story was, and those have you have you looked into the characters that play the those characters on Grand Theft Auto? No, it's it's been a minute since I played Grand Theft They're Auto. They're insane. They're yeah. insane. That guy that plays Trevor looks exactly like him, and he's just a nut. He's got he's like he's got the crazy hair. It's, right. it's insane. <laughs> well, I don't think any cast will beat Grand Theft Auto Vice City. That thing that was, was awesome stars one. after stars after stars after stars. I mean, I watched. Um, God, it was one of those like top. 10 videos or something like that and it was the the top five uh rosters in grand theft auto as far as the voiceover work and they mm -hmm. had vice city as the number one because they were just showing just everybody you know did vice city did vice city have the the dlcs of no i'm thinking about maybe maybe i'm thinking about number four the russian guy was yeah that was that was, that was nico belichick or bellick nico bellick yeah. yeah that was four one of my favorite Grand Theft Autos was the Ballad of Gay Tony. The the, the right. DLC of number four. Dude, that yeah. was Yeah, this is beyond, dude. See, I loved San Andreas. San Andreas was one of my favorites <laughs> because it oh was just God. the music and everything else from it. You know, Heck yeah, dude, all the was, hip hop man. Yeah, it was all the old school rap and I just loved it. You know, NWA all, all those guys, man. I just, I love just going. I would just cruise around, and just listen to the radio. You know, I oh wouldn't care. God. Yeah, exactly. I'd put the hip hop station on. I completely understand. I love yeah. me some old school hip hop. I do. Uh, so, is there anything in that's coming up in the future that you're looking forward to? Besides, maybe the next Overwatch game. Eh, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. I, um. Well, the new Pokemon DLCs look pretty interesting, so I'm kind of excited about that. Okay. I was really excited about Final Fantasy VII, but I honestly don't know if I'm going to play it or not. I don't know what they did with the story. In in watching it and how it goes, it's it looks amazing. I've watched it a lot does. of gameplay. It looks so amazing, and I I just I can't, especially right now. But even when I have a job, I can't justify buying a PlayStation just for that game. 
and I yeah, know I yeah, would yeah, probably yeah. end up. I know I would probably end up playing like Uncharted and stuff, games like that. The exclusive. Oh, I would. I cool. would for sure play God of War because I love that game. Because I, I used to have the a new God of War. I had a PlayStation Two, so I played the original God of War and God of War Two. I played both of those. But yeah, I played the original ones. I would love to have to have it for that, but it's just like, <sighs> dude. I already have so many games that I, I just can't play because I don't have any time. You know, Dude. even even during quarantine, I don't have enough time to play those games. You know, it's just exactly. it's nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I, I, I try to I don't play games during the day. I play games when I stream. Right. Like, I don't I don't play. I, I try to. But dude, I got kids. I, you know, I have to worry about. I got the, you know, the mini farm I have to worry about. Right. So I, don't, I just I don't play games right now. The, yeah, other, really, uh, the other the other thing I really wanted to get into that I haven't been able to is I wanted to get into role play GTA and get into that stuff where people are they go on the PC and just you join a server and it's just like all modded and you do just crazy shit. Crazy stuff. Yeah, I've seen some of the cool uh, car videos where they do the loops. Yeah, that and I've that, seen that's the, cool. like the Avenger mods where everybody's oh Avengers God. and stuff. Like I saw Hulk running around, you know, just smashing yeah, everything, just jumping yeah, everywhere. So you know, I wanted to get into all those stuff, but then I'm like, eh. But here's Warzone. I want to play that. I play Apex. Yeah. Then we have Monday Night I've... Golf. I'm gonna play tonight. I'm gonna play Green Hell with with uh, QP after the pod. So that'll be. Cool. I've been I've been considering playing Modern the new Modern Warfare. I have the original Modern Warfare. I have not played a Call of Duty since I think Black Ops 2. I just I just got tired of them. Yeah. Maybe Advanced Warfare, but I loved Modern Warfare 2. Oh, that game was insane. Dude. And then, <laughs> and then Call of Duty, the original Call of, uh, Call of Duty World at War, when they yeah. first introduced zombies. Yep. Oh, and Dur Rise, dude, with the, the crazy zombie puppies and and then you you make your little you know you make the the crawlers by throwing a grenade at them and yep oh man that was the the thing that sucks is this obviously this for modern warfare they never had it before in the past either there's no zombies for it which sucks but oh really yeah there's no zombies in modern warfare they they had zombies in the last game black ops 4 had zombies which i have that one but the rumor mill was going around that the next uh, black, uh, the next COD the ah, Jesus the next COD game was going to be Black Ops Five, but then really? they said no, it's been squashed. And I don't believe that there is going to be no, there's not going to be zombies in this one either. That's coming up. So aren't I don't they know. remaking? Aren't they remaking the story of on um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two? Then they just remake the story. Yeah, it's out the. The uh, oh. the remastered. It's the, what they do. I think they just redid it. Just made it look. Pr- yeah, prettier. but I, but it's another thirty bucks just for a campaign, and that's it. That's all it is. Is just a campaign. Why? Yeah. It's just yeah. They got to make their money. I understand. Right. Av on Kino Der Toton. I made it to around sixty dude, or so. Dude, Kino Der Toton. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My favorite was buried on Black Ops three. Three two. I think it was Der two. Rise is the one I really liked. Two was nah. two was awesome, and I was I'd get up and I was above a hundred plenty of times because you could set up the traps and everything where you'd set up the freaking saws that come across and the <laughs> the the you just would sit in a corner and just have them just keep coming at you and then you would just wait and they just they would eventually break the traps and then you would just start shooting so you would be able to save it. Really? Yeah. I think Der Rise was the one that I really really liked. They introduced that when they I think. It had to been derived when they they had the mystery box in that one, right? Yeah. Thanks, Totes. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, they did. I think they had mystery boxes in all of them. Derived. Yeah, derived was the one I really, really enjoyed. That was one of the best maps. And then they remastered it on one of the Call of Duties. Like, I think it was Black Ops 2 they remastered it. That one was cool. And that little creepy girl that would laugh. Yeah. And then the, the little tiny teddy bears that were posted all over the map that you would shoot at. Yeah. That one was cool. I loved trying to do the uh, the Easter eggs in all those maps too. They're yeah. they're awesome. Yeah, I remember. Eventually, if you took too much time, the zombie would just die off, and yep. the next round would start. Dude, Which... I would stay up to like five in the morning talking crap to little kids, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I think I said this on the last podcast was that 
if if anybody has a free minute and you want to jump down a YouTube wormhole, like the younger kids and everything, you think that you know games are toxic now? Just go on YouTube and search Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer lobbies and oh just watch God, those dude. videos and hear the shit talking. There's so much shit talking in the lobbies before the game even started. Dude, I would shut people down, dude. <laughs> I felt bad. I, I felt like, man, people would come in like my my roommates were like, dude, cops are gonna get called on you. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, it surprised. was so <laughs> much fun. It's just, it's, it was fun to just sit back and listen too, because then you're just like, oh my god, I can't believe he just said that. <laughs> you just just walk into this, you know, just start. I would just go in there and just shh everybody. Just right. Start and dude, they would get so mad. But it sucked because it sucks now because you say one little thing and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose and you get banned. I used to get banned all the time from yeah. Xbox Live. Oh, we always we had tons of people that would get banned in that. I had one time where some guy was um, tried to he was talking shit to me and everything, but I was streaming on at the time and <laughs> he was talking shit, talking shit, talking shit, and then just like sending me voicemail voice messages through Xbox. So then I invited him into the party. And he's like, oh, dude, you suck so bad. I'm going to fucking report you and see you did this, this, and this. And I went, hey, dude, I'm streaming. This is all recorded. And he just went, bloop, gone. Gone. <laughs> Didn't hear from him again. Hell yeah, dude. See, I, yeah, that's cool, man. I never got that. I never got that. I would just get banned all the time because people would send me messages and I'd send messages back. Right. And I'd wake up the next morning and be like, you know, I get the message. You are banned. <laughs> Great. So, Banda, let's talk about this. Let's talk about, you know, outside of streaming and gaming, outside of the farm and that, what is it that Jay Banda likes to do for fun outside of all of this? Which I know with the kids and everything else, there's not much time, like, for you to do stuff that maybe you like, but there's got to be something out there that you like, whether it's reading a book or, you know, like you said, you're a car guy and stuff like that. I like cars, man. I do like, I love going off road in the truck. I love just finding a dirt road and hopefully not getting stuck. Right. I love it. Um, I'm a huge music guy. I love music. Love music. We, you know, um, ma mainly on our free time, I go in the backyard, I crank some heavy metal, dude. And I, you know, we, we plant the garden. Right. Or I used to, I used to really like going on like long drives at nighttime. Okay. That was one of my favorite things. Nice. So let's talk about this. What is your what what uh, what's your truck that you have right now? I have a '93 Ford Ranger. Okay. It has. I it says it has six hundred thousand miles on it. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what it says. Okay. <laughs> and it is absolutely the slowest thing ever. It's a two point four liter, and it makes ninety eight horsepower. But and for what my wife does, um, managing the properties, right? You know, we needed to get something. So my buddy sold it to me for five hundred dollars. It's got AC, power steering. It's smogged, registered. It's legit. It's a five-speed. I like it. There you go. Sorry, we got. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Get them out, guys. That's enough right there. <clears throat> That's enough right there. Somebody can take care of that. Panic, you got mod. Wolf, you got mod. We got Rabble in here. All you guys, somebody should take care of that, like, right away. Yeah. <laughs> Car talk, here we come. <laughs> I'll report yeah. I'll report that back to uh, to my Turkish uh, brethren about that. <laughs> yeah, there's some there's some people that like to get up on here and D-Live and just be really toxic sometimes. It's gotten worse. I've, I've had a couple times where people come in my stream and be like, Oh my God, my brother's in the hospital. Can you just please donate me one diamond? I'm like, yeah. no. <laughs> they follow me, send me that crazy message, and I'm like, no. And then I they lose. You know, I'm like, come on, dude. Like, listen, I'm not going to give a dollar to the guy that's stopping me in the parking lot, let alone give you a diamond for right? talking and to I'm me. Like, and I tell him, put your brother's channel in there. And I go on the channel, and it says, need money for new PC. Like, come on, dude. I'm not stupid. Come on. Right. Oh, so where are where are the places out in California that you like that you can go off roading at? Here. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just it's sand. We live in the desert. You can okay. literally pull off the side and just you can find. I've been stuck a couple times though. Now is your I mean, range is your ranger raised at all? No, it's just stock. Okay. It's stock, but I've gotten stuck uh, too many times, so I gotta I try to stay on dirt roads that I know. What's the uh, what's your dream vehicle? Like let's just say money's no option. You know, you don't have to worry about money and everything. They just say pick any car you want. 1971 Nissan Skyline, the Hakosoka. Oh really? Yep. All right. You can't go off roading in that. No, you cannot. <laughs> no. My wife's dream vehicle is a 34 Ford sedan, the Bonnie and Clyde car. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I like the classic. Man. Yeah. Yeah. She's she likes classic cars. Nice. Wait, Panic says me too. That's what Panic... I think yours is what Panic's dream car is too. Heck yeah, that's the dream. Rebel says what color? On on either car or on the wife's car? The wife's dream car? Mine, I want that. That's just a stock silver. I think it's silver. Just the stock silver. No. I, I like that color. That's nice. Oh, he said, please tell me the Jade Purple Japan exclusive. Ooh, I don't know which one that is. I'd definitely have to look that up. Mr. Google Pants. Yeah, I love this. This guy. What do you mean? Ha ha ha. No way. That's not his favorite car. That's my dream car. Oh, maybe the 34 Fords is. No, he was sitting there saying, yeah, that's the one. He wants silver and blue. Is what yeah. Panic says. Pearl, not purple. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. It's meant pearl. Oh, my bad. Shoot. Yeah, that's, that's the dream car. I don't really care for everybody really wants a lamborghini or a ferrari I, I don't care for that i mean yeah you know what they make a lot of power stock right you're paying how much you know you're paying hundred thousand dollars for a car that makes 500 horsepower but you can get the new you know the new shelby what the super snake not the super snake i know the new gt 500s make like 750 horsepower and they're like half the price As we were stating, we were talking about your your dream car, and it was yeah, the Nissan, yeah. the Nissan Skyline with, uh, and Rabble was saying, please let it be the Jade Pearl one, not purple, Jade Pearl. Jade Pearl. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna Google it. Write me out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jade Pearl. Is that the gray one? That's yeah, I like that. That's really yeah. Nice. It's like a green. He said, "I saw it right before yeah, my computer yeah. crashed." So, Ooh, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like they made it though in in that in that year. It's, maybe who knows? What was your first car you had that you owned? I owned a my first car. I owned a <laughs> it was a it was like a night uh. 2003 LT1 Camaro. Ooh. It was an old cop car. Okay. 350 horsepower. Nice. It was white and it had these ugly red flames out in the front of it and it had all the <laughs> interceptor stuff in it. I drove it home and it shut off for forever. Oh. I just drove it home and it just shut off and it did not run. And it sat there and it sat there. And I took it to a shop <laughs> and paid these guys like $500 to rewire the entire car. Okay. And then I got drove it home and it shut off again. And then the, 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 the fuel pump went out and I had to pay another $150 for some people to replace the fuel pump because I was like 18 at the time. Right. I had no clue. I didn't know anything about cars. Right. I just knew I wanted a fast car, you know? Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> right. So, I mean, a police Camaro? I mean, come on. Yeah. Why not? It was bad, dude. It made like it was, it was like an LT1 or LT2. It made like 350 horsepower, dude. That's awesome. It was bad. My, oh, yeah, Rebel says, sounds like it was vapor locking. 
That thing was uh, just a money. My my very first car, I paid two hundred fifty dollars for it, and it was an eighty two Dodge Charger hatchback with a two point four liter engine in it. It was a manual transmission, and the linkage would pop off on it every time you would if you shifted weight too hard. The linkage would pop off and it'd be stuck in that gear or stuck in neutral. So you'd have to pull off to the side of the road, reach down in the engine compartment, snap the linkage back on it because it was just it would just pop off and you just have to snap it back on and then you could go and drive with it again. Dude, that sucks so bad. That happened to me when I was driving my, when I had my Honda. Yeah. Driving in the, the I was driving I was driving normal I was going to work and the shift linkage just completely fell apart. Oh. I had nothing, no gears. The the bushings fell out, the bolts fell out. Everything just, oh. you could see it dragging on the ground and hear it just dragging on the ground. That's and terrible. Random, yeah, and I didn't have any tools with me, so some random dude pulled over. He, I, we jacked up the car, and he put some random bolt that fit in there. Okay. And he put Loctite or something on it, and I was never able to get that bolt off again. Oh, Jesus. Panic says, I had a car for two days, LMAO, 1969 Cadillac. Oh, yeah, baby. First yeah, and buddy, only. <laughs> my buddy had one of those. We used to, yeah. <laughs> we used to drive around bumping Outcast. He had like 22-inch rims on it. it nice. It was pretty tight. <laughs> yeah, my, my hatchback had, I had um, a stereo system in it, and it had two 10-inch bazooka base tubes in the back hatch. And nice. I got, I've gotten into trouble in that car. I, oh, yeah. it, pollution. it had a it wasn't even that we had a sunroof in it so we would go and we have a strip of road called grash it it's the street name but it's like uh <laughs> four lanes on either side with the median in the middle so you would cruise the kids would cruise up and down there and we were cruising i was in high school and we were cruising up and down and the we looked and all the guys looked at each other it was like one o'clock in the morning like all right one more pass and then we're going home I'm like all right they pull up alongside of these girls and they hold up a sign saying, I love you. I love you. And we're like, oh, you want to pull over? Like, yeah. <laughs> so we pull down the side street and we pull over the side of the road. They're in front of us. The one girl hops out of her car, runs up my hood and jumps into the top of into my sunroof. That was completely open. We took the sunroof completely out. Jump, yeah. Jumped in. And this is the middle of February, by the way. So it's cold as balls. But oh, hey, yeah. we still wanted to do it. Hey, you gotta be cool, man. Her friends <laughs> fucking take off, and we start taking off after them. And we're driving down side streets and everything else, so we drive down this road, and she's hanging out of the sunroof. They're trying to pull her down. She's hanging out of the sunroof going, Wee! and we're driving, and I'm trying to catch up to her friends and everything else. And as we're driving down, here comes a police car. <clears throat> and she's hanging, and we're, like, speeding trying to get to these girls because oh, we're, like, shoot. and sure enough, turns around. Whoop, just hear the fucking sirens going. And me, I'm 16 years old when this all went down, and I'm listening uh, to one of my stupid older friends. He's like, pull down this side street. So, you know, we're trying to avoid cops. So what do I do? I slow down, turn on my turn signal so the cop knows exactly where I'm going. I pull down the side street and everything, and they're like, pull off of the side over here and then turn off your lights. So I pulled off, oh, yeah. of, the, I pulled off of the side of the road, turn off my lights and everything, only to realize that my car is facing the opposite direction as all the other cars. Oh, <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> so by the time that's I, like, that's just poop right there. <laughs> yeah, by the time I pulled everything, pulled, put everything back on, turned around, and turned and went on the right side, fucking cop was right behind me. You just hear on the loudspeaker, "Get out of the car, put your hands on the hood." And I'm like, just like shitting myself, going, "Oh my god, oh my god!" And we get out, we put our hands in the hood and everything else, and we're just sitting there. And the one guy, the one guy knows my dad's gonna kick my ass. Like, oh, yeah. my dad's going to kill me. And then my uh, one of the other guys was like, oh, these cops can't do nothing to us. We're minors. They can't do anything to us. Blah, blah, blah. And the one guy, I'm like, shut up. And I'm like, they, he's like, they can't do anything. And he's like, dude, you don't understand. His dad is going to kill him. Like, he knew my dad. He's like, he's going to kill him. He's going to die. Like Red Foreman, yeah, dude. Exactly. Yeah. So, Red Foreman. So I'm we, not worried about you. I'm worried yeah. about me. So we got, <laughs> I ended up getting a ticket for reckless driving. So it was a misdemeanor. Oh, God. Now, mind you, I'm a juvenile, so I can't. I'm not supposed to be able, be able to get those to get misdemeanor tickets and everything. So I come, I get home, and I tell my dad, like, he's like, "Hey, how did how'd, you, how'd it go?" Because my mom was in the hospital at the time, and she gave me permission to go out because I was supposed to be grounded. Oh man. So I get home and I tell my dad, I'm like, 
you know, there was this, we had this girl in our car and then the, we were speeding down the side street and she was hanging on the roof and I was trying to avoid these, this car that was following us. We had the Latin counts following us, which was a oh gang. I was, yeah, tr- I was just trying to, we're sp- here in California. I was trying to spin anything I can to get out of this with my dad. And he's like, oh, my God. He's like, that sucks. I'm like, yeah, you gave me a ticket for this. And, you know, I don't know what to do and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, don't worry. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. Well, I didn't know that my dad ended up going down to the police station and talked to the actual officer. Oh, shit. So he was like, listen, your son was very, very kind and everything else. He wasn't an asshole and everything. He, he did everything I told him to do in that. But this is what happened. So my dad came home and like ripped into me, man. I was fucking dead that day when he came back. He's like, yeah, I went, sucks, went and dude. saw the police officer. And I'm like, uh, shit. <laughs> so yeah, that sucks. it ended up, they dismissed it and everything else. Because like I said, yeah. the cop wrote it up as a misdemeanor and I was uh, a juvenile. So they wrote it up for actual district court instead of juvenile court. So that's how I kind of got out of it. So <laughs> white. Yeah, it was it was not good at all, guys. Yeah, that's that's sketchy. That sucks. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, but you, yeah, you were sixteen, you know, and obviously you were not gonna get in trouble. Right. I mean, from your, from your dad, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> yeah you're but, very very blessed with yeah, that. Yeah, I got very lucky. Believe me, I've gotten lucky a couple of times and all that. So, but my best. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm taking time away from you, but I gotta tell this story real Dude, quick. Talk, is that yeah, let's talk. Is that they had this contest in Michigan on the classic rock radio station called the Camaros of Yesterday and Today. So what they would do is this giveaway. They would, on the classic rock station, they would play a classic rock song from uh, an artist, and then they would play something from now from them. And this was back in 93. This is just when they start. They changed the body style of the Camaro. When they were coming out with the new Camaro and everything. So what the yep. contest was is they were. Just like a Trans Am. They were giving away. Uh, a 93 and a 69 Camaro, two cars. Ooh. And you had to just call in and get uh, get registered for it. And then they would bring you down. You pick a key out of a bucket, put it in, turn, turn, the, turn the key on. If the car started, you won. So we were, I was sitting there. Really? At, yeah, I was sitting at home. My dad was out working, restoring a 69 Camaro, coincidentally. And... I was on the phone with my girlfriend at the time in that. And we, this is landlines guys too. This wasn't cell phone shit anymore. Yeah, dude, I got it. So, dude, I got it. Yeah. I, I remember, dude. <laughs> so he had, a, he had a phone out in the garage. I was on the phone inside the house on the phone with my girlfriend and everything, sitting there in my bed. And I'm sitting there talking to her, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, I hear the phone pick up and I hear, Dad, I'm on the phone. And he's like, God damn it. You're always on the fucking phone when I need it. Bang. <laughs> I'm up the phone. And I went, um, I guess I got to go. <laughs> so so i hung up the phone and i go out to the garage and i'm like dad you can use the phone i'm sorry i'm like i didn't know that you needed he's like no it's too late now he's like i'm trying to win this radio contest and i'm like all right what is it and then the uh the next day i was out there working with him on the car and he's like yeah i'll let you know you know if you help me out with this it's fine so i'm like okay no problem so we're sitting there working on the car, and all of a sudden the old song comes on, and then the new song comes on. My dad's like, that's it, that's it, got a call. So I immediately get on the phone. I start dialing, busy, hang up, call again, busy, hang up, call again, busy, hang up. He's like, just forget it, it's too late now. I'm like, no, I'm going to keep trying. I tried it two more times, and on the second time, all of a sudden, I go, Dad, it's ringing. And sure enough, they go, CSX. And I go, hi, I'm calling about the Camaros of yesterday and today. And they're like, how old are you? Because you had to be 18 or older to win. I'm like, Dad, take the phone. Take the phone. <laughs> he took the phone. He ended up getting registered for it and everything. So the day comes where he had to go down to the mall because they, they were doing this at a mall and everything. And he had all this paperwork together and everything else. I was going to go, but I was running late from school because it was after school stuff. And by the time I was in high school, obviously 16, I get home and he's like, he's like, you're causing me to be fucking late. That's it. We're leaving without you. You got to stay here. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, all right, Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I had school stuff. He's like, forget it. And then my mom got in the car. They got halfway there, which was about a 45-minute drive. Had to drive back because he forgot his paperwork sitting on the counter. Got it. Left. Went out and went to the thing. And I'm just sitting there just like at home like, oh, my God. You know, I cost him this. He's not going to have even a shot at it and everything else. And then all of a sudden I got a call from my aunt and goes, 
Brian, are you listening to the radio right now? I'm like, no, why? It's like, they're like, turn it on. I turn it on, and all I hear my dad go is, Brian, this one's for you. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Dude, Fucking one. Oh, so cool. Heck yeah. I was like ecstatic. I was going nuts, like, oh my God. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, my dad's going to get the 69 you know, Camaro, I'm going to get the new 93. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, I'm getting a brand new car for, for my birthday. This is amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> and that was when they were doing the commercials for it. They would play Jimi Hendrix fire. Yeah. And I was sitting there just at home, just blaring that song. Like, yeah, they come up. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. I'm like, I get a new car. They're like, we got to talk to you about that. And I'm like, what and they're like yeah see the 93 camaro is in such high demand right now that they made an offer to us and unfortunately i didn't know at that time because i'm young and everything you know you figure you want a contest you get two cars that's it yeah yeah for game sure. over you don't realize that you got to pay taxes on all that oh. <laughs> so they sold the 93 back to the dealership and they cut them the check to pay for all the taxes so they got to keep the 69 but had to give back the 93 camaro Oh, dude, what so a bummer. So here, here I thought I was going to be a 16-year-old with a brand new 93 dude, yeah, Camaro and yeah. everything else. Like, I was going to be king shit driving around like, yeah, let's yeah, go. All the girls, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and then, whoop, whoop, whoop. nope. But I did oh, get to drive dude, the 69 a sucked. couple times, but it just, that just sucked, so. Oh, that sucks. That's, hey, man, but that's it's my cool, story. Yeah. yeah, it's a story I have forever, too. And then, like, ever since then, it's like I, I can win. I win stuff off the radio all the time. I won con constant, really? constant concert tickets left and right. You know, not anymore because oh, everybody. I didn't win those. Oh, you paid for those? No. No. I didn't tell you this story? No. So this is the one recently, right? The one that you saw the picture of with yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah, my boss, our owner took me and my wife to the concert and that was that next friday or that next thursday was when he fired me <laughs> oh dude it was like a dinner yeah <laughs> oh dude so we want to make a scene yeah that's awful yeah yeah i didn't know that yeah <laughs> oh damn i'm sorry for asking man <laughs> no that's all right it just it is what it is that's insane it's not buffering on my end wolf i have the stream up and it's still it's fine yeah, it looks like it's good over here. Yeah, I think that's just you. Yeah. Get better internet. Yeah, that's it sucked. It sucked, Crown. I mean, I was so pissed about that. I'm like, how do you sit there and we're just take like he's gonna take me and my wife out for like a dinner that was like gonna be we, we didn't get to go because we didn't have enough time, but it was gonna be like five hundred dollars for the yeah. four of us to, to go there with drinks and everything else. But it was just like yeah. Dang. Ugh. So that sucks, man. But that was really good. hey, at least you got to see Garth Brooks in concert. That was cool. Yeah, that was my third time I saw him. Oh well, shoot. Then I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my wife's second, but she she really wanted to go because she you know oh, yeah. it, he's it's a great show. It really is. Um, I'm not big in the country, but Garth Brooks is a he's a legend of it. I right. mean, I don't is is he considered country? He is. He's country. He's Kinda. more country than a lot of the people that say they're country now, too. You yeah, know, he still sings country's... about rodeo and everything else, you know, like cowboy shit. Whereas most of the people don't do anything like that. It's not your typical I just, country. I can't do it. I just I can't deal with it. I don't know why. <laughs> I just I you know it, it sounds. This is gonna sound extremely ignorant, but I feel that all country sounds the same. Some of it does. A lot of it does actually. They all know, use that now. same exact voice. Right. What like it... in like. What? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish your thought. And like in metal and stuff, you know, a lot of people, you know, they feel the same way. They say, you know, metal all sounds the same, but there's so many different genres of it. It's just broken down. I yeah, think I, I think all... death metal all sounds the same. That's yeah, what I think. You know what? Yeah, I understand that. Just a... <laughs> <all do. laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. I really like death metal. Um. So let me ask you this then, since you're a music guy and everything, who are your top five favorite artists of all time? That's hard. Um, I'll put up. Okay. Um, I love Pink Floyd. Okay. Absolutely love Pink Floyd. Yeah. I'm a huge Metallica fan. Man, it's hard. That's 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 a really difficult question for me because there is so much good music out there to discover. Um, Credence Clearwater. I, I like Credence. 
I really like. What are you talking about? Like just like heavy metal or just music in general? Music in general. You're, you're, you could be like you could sit there and say, yeah, Metallica, you know, and that. And then you could go Bob Marley. I wouldn't care. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be eh. like metal. I'm just saying it could be anywhere. It doesn't matter. Um, I love Smokey Robinson. Okay. Love Smokey Robinson. Um, really love The Temptations. I watched mm-hmm. the movie constantly. I really wish they would do a reunion tour. I really wish the guys that were in the Temptation movie that portrayed the Temptation people would do a tour. I think that would be incredible because they all really sing in that movie. Okay. There was only a couple songs where they didn't sing, mm-hmm. but they all there's a, a lot of the songs they actually sang in that movie. Um, but no, it's it's hard. It's 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 a hard list because there's so much good music out there that you just need to look for. Right. But yeah, Pink Floyd is definitely up there with me. Love Pink Floyd. Would you say that, or let me ask you this. When do you feel that Metallica peaked? Because you can't tell me that Metallica now is like Metallica of old. The first three albums are the best albums. Okay. Ride the Lightning, I, my, in my opinion, I Ride the Lightning is my favorite album. That is my favorite album. I was seven years old when my uncle bought me that album. Okay. And my mom would play Master of Puppets on her belly. Oh. She was pregnant with us. Nice. Yeah. Crown says, my first love of music was Metallica because of my bro, but my own first choice is Korn. Dude, I love Korn. Korn's awesome. I like I like some old Korn. Korn's um, iffy with me, too. One of my favorite concerts was the first um, – the first family values concert where Ooh. where and i got to do a meet and greet too so i got it was orgy uh Ooh, i liked orgy when they first came yeah. out man. and this is Blue monday and all, yeah yeah and limp biscuit when they first came out corn romstein romstein however you want to pronounce yeah. it yeah um, they're weird ice cube and corn that was the concert that concert was be- amazing that's cool. And when was my my first concert? I think was in two thousand four. I went and saw Metallica and Godsmack live. Ooh, good concert. But it it, it they played um, a lot of the Saint Anger songs. So right. I, I it was oh, that album was awful. But Godsmack, man, they did a great job. They sound really good live. Nice. I saw Godsmack when they first came out. They were at the ninety seven X Games, and they 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 played there in san diego at the 97 x games and they played that song go away okay that was cool i would uh my very first concert i ever went to was um pearl uh, not pearl jam jesus christ that would be great man I that was Snake not it's, it's better than that honestly it's rush was my very first concert man rush is dude that 2112 album is where it's at i was it was during the roll the bones tour when I when what? I got to see him, and I was a I'm a percussionist, so like me, um, you know, seeing up. Neil Peart was just amazing because that was like my messiah of percussionist. You know, my my father in law got to play on his drum set. Oh my god! He has sticks signed from him. Um, give me one second. What's sure. up, baby? Okay, go lay down. Okay. <laughs> okay, go go lay down, please. She just woke up from her nap, so she's crazy hair, still right. not looking straight. <laughs> Man, nice. that would be so cool to see Rush. Yeah, that sucks. That's that's heartbreaking that he um, that Neil Peart he you know yeah. passed away what six months ago. Yeah, that was it was terrible. I mean, I I knew that it was probably going to come eventually because I know he had cancer and that, so it was just yeah. And then he lost his wife, and then he lost his daughter. Man, that's just dude. He's had yeah. a tough life. Yes. I guess what's his name's like that too. Um, the one that plays the oh, crap. He played Bill and Ted. Um, I can't think of his name right now. I'm like drawing a blank. He plays in those um, shooter movies. I can't. Keat, no. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, I guess he's had a really bad life too. Growing up, hmm. lost his best friend. His like first love passed away, and like he's. I guess he's had a really really tough life growing right. up. Right. Uh, everybody, if you want to, let's start lining up some questions. If I yeah. missed yours and I haven't gotten to it, please put it in the chat. Make sure you at support force or sub force 
just so it lights up on my screen and I can see it. That's cool. I really appreciate it. You got to see Rush, man. That's cool. Yeah, I got, to, I got to see Rush. Like... I saw Garth when he came and came to Detroit in 96, I want to say it was. Um, I saw Kid Rock like three times. <laughs> Kid Rock. I saw him when he was an actual rapper. You know, oh, before yeah, yeah, before he became a metalhead. When he would sit there and sing Yodlin in the Valley and that, and it was just when he was Question. with ICP and that. So Ooh, yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Rebel wants to know his his question of all questions that he asks everybody. What animal could you be, if any, and why? I want a, a cheetah. I don't. I don't think I would be a cheetah, but I love cheetahs. I have always have loved big cats. For the longest time, I wanted to work for like a Carol Baskin at rescue. <laughs> yeah, I you know what? That's so funny. I, I hear about this lady and I watch Big Cat Rescue on YouTube all the time. Do you? Yeah, I'm like a huge fan of them. I wanted to do an apprenticeship with them for the longest time, bro. You have, to, have you watched? Yeah. Ti- have you watched Tiger King? No. no. I hear, I hear. I you have to need watch it. to watch Tiger King because you will not want to work with Carol Baskins after this. I swear to God, dude, she is just as bad as these other zoos that have big cats. That just, that's all they do. Really? I swear to God, she's that's just as crazy. bad. If I, not I worse. I love that. I love that. I, I'm telling you, I was, I was gonna sign out the paperwork and everything to be doing apprenticeship with them. But you have to provide your own shelter, your own oh, food. Oh, Rebel said it. Five years of free work, dude. It's a, it's the whole level thing. It's a fucking cult, bro. It's a cult. Yeah, yeah. It's I was ridiculous. down, man. I just wanted to work with big cats. I love big cats. I love animals. Oh, you could have worked cool for Joe Exotic people. if you wanted to take it up the poop shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. And do meth, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> well, we got plenty of it out here in the uh, desert. Uh, Madly would like to know, what's your favorite food? Man, that's a hard one, too. Um, I love Mexican food. I love I love tacos. I love the, the burritos. Um, but I also am a huge fan of sushi. I love, really? love, love, love sushi. Yeah. The rawer, the rawer, the better. Did I say that right? Rawer. Rarer? Rare, not rare, raw. Raw. The raw. I can't pronounce it. Yeah. The but raw. Yeah, I like sushi. Yeah. <laughs> the more raw it is, the, the better. The more better. Yeah, yeah. Like sashimi. That's that's incredible. See, I tried sushi. I just can't get down with it. I tried it. Try eel. Try you eel. Know? Eel's really good. I wanted to try. Um, what's what's the the sushi that's cooked? Um, the hell tempura. is that called? Tempura, yeah. Yeah, I don't like tempura much. It's good though. It's just people eat it differently. Right. Madly goes, oh yeah. my god, I wanted to order sushi tonight. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I don't know if you guys have. Do you guys have Stater Brothers over there in the, on that side? No, the East Coast? I don't think so. I no, don't know. Stater, Stater Brothers is um, it's like a cheaper Albertsons. Do you have Albertsons? Mm-mm. Sheesh! What am, like Safeway, right? You have Safeway. Mm, I th- it sounds familiar. Where do you shop at? <laughs> we have Kroger, Meyer. Okay, so food for less. Yeah. So yeah, we have Stater Brothers out here, and they would they you know how they sell sushi in like the frozen area where you right. can buy it packaged. Yeah. And everybody recommends not to buy it. Yeah. They actually have a sushi bar now in Staters where you can buy it. Yeah, we have sushi bars in Kroger and that now too, where they make they'll make sushi right there in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just started doing that, and it's 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 got some good stuff. They only do salmon and tuna though. They won't do anything else for some reason. Yeah, no panic. There is Safeway in the U.S., just not on my side of town. <laughs> yeah, there's Safeway in Colorado. Yeah. Um. There's Teeter. What? Yeah. <laughs> and Rebel. I thought you don't eat sushi. It's 2020. Right. <laughs> well, <there's no. laughs> um, let's see. Kayla wants to know, what is your favorite of your animals? My favorite animal is my, my cat, Pumpkin. Your we, cat, we, Pumpkin. We, yeah, yeah. My wife named her because we got her for my wife, but she hates my wife. She, <laughs> my wife will pet her, and they should put all four limbs on her and bite her and scratch the hell out of her <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why you like it the most <laughs> no i just she's just really nice to me so we found her on facebook marketplace 
we have an orange tabby named Tank. I've had him for about eight years. Okay. And we talked about getting another cat. So we found Pumpkin on Facebook Marketplace, and she's an orange tabby. We thought she was an orange tabby female, which is really rare. It's really rare to find an orange tabby female. Okay. And the, the father and the mother both have to have the orange tabby gene. So we got her thinking like, oh, yeah, we got an orange tabby female. And her spots just started getting darker and darker. And there's there's more spots all over her. And her ears started getting bigger and bigger. And she just started getting like so long. And we looked her up and we found out she's an Arabian mouth. Oh. Yeah. False advertising. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't she doesn't even um she doesn't even meow. It's very strange. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. She's got this little head and these gigantic ears. Nice. Yeah, she's super cool. I love cats. Panic asks, you have been in support force for a super long time. What has made you stick with us? The support, man. You guys are amazing. Come on. Everybody's amazing. I've known these guys before support force started. I met all them in hype speed. Yeah, I never was in hype speed. I was with some of them in uh, next level and missed yeah, it. And, I, well, I, I won't knew... say the other one. I'm not saying the other one. <laughs> I knew I met Rabbles. Um, I'm pretty sure Kayla was in there. Marina was in there. Panic. Um, QP was in there. Smelters. Yeah, I met them all in um, Hype Speed, and then all of them left Hype Speed one day, and I'm like, "What happened?" Right. And then they invited me to Support Force like five days into making Support Force. Oh my God, Dizzy no, says. Just... Dizzy just said, "Does the cat eat lasagna? It, it is it orange?" <laughs> No, he eats everything else though. <laughs> eats ice cream. If you have ice cream, he will sit up next to you, and every time you take a bite, he he comes in to take a bite with right. you. And he eats popcorn. It's very strange. <laughs> you have to break it for him. He's very weird. Nice. Uh, DJ wants to know your favorite Pokemon with all those Pokemon in the background. My favorite is Vulpix. She's just the cutest Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. She's a little fox. Okay, so, so follow-up question, what's your favorite evolution of Vulpix? Oh, no, there's only one. I'm sorry. Why did I was... Oh, my God. No, isn't there... Didn't they add another one? Did no. they? Did they? Because Vulpix goes to Ninetales, right? Yeah. I think there might be another evolution of it. I guess not. Well, they didn't they make that, that, that silver Vulpix or whatever it was? It's like a frozen Might Vulpix. Be. I don't know. Rabble, do you know? <laughs> Felly, Felly says, I think it's just nine tails. Yeah, Rabble says so. there is an ice version. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah, that one's super. Yeah, I love it. I love <laughs> Vulpix. And Panic says, why you got to steal all my faves? <laughs> no, I knew it went to nine tails, but I thought that there was another one. A low land. That's what Felly's saying. I do have a favorite um, Eevee evolution, though. Okay. Um, Vaporeon. Yeah. I wasn't in, I didn't know about all the new ones, the Leafeon and yeah. all the Embryon. I didn't know about those because I, when I was, I think it was like nine or 10 years old, Pokemon Red and Blue came out. So okay. I had that, those Pokemon, you know? Right. I'm from like first generation Pokemon. Yeah. No, I was always a Jolteon fan. I love Jolteon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I gotta go back here. Oh god, <laughs> it's funny. Rab says, "Oh god, the HS dish." Yeah, man. Hey, these guys supported me. These guys in when for hype speed, they got me to affiliate in one night. That was cool. Those guys all showed up. I had like twenty six viewers and like over thirty followers, and and then the next that same night, I got the email saying that I'm affiliated. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry wants to know what did you want to be growing up? Uh, animal rescue, just and just work with animals. Yeah. I still want to. I still want to rescue animals, just not here. I mean, we kind of do. We rescued two pigeons. Now we have two pigeons in our house that we have to feed every day. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I remember your pictures too, saying, "Look at how ugly they are when they didn't have all they their feathers and everything." <laughs> and then they started getting their feathers, and you're like, "Okay, you, you guys aren't so ugly now." Yeah, yeah, they just—they're getting bigger, and I'm throwing them up in the air, but I'm making sure to shut the ceiling fan off first. 
<laughs> my my two things were I wanted to be a vet. My dad's like, how are you going to be a vet? You won't even feed their fucking dog that we have now. <laughs> exactly. When my I was my younger. daughter, she wants all these animals. I'm like, dude, you don't play with the ones we have now. Right. <laughs> uh, but then I wanted, I really wanted to be an astronaut. Like, I really wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to go to space camp and all that. That's and, scary. And do all that. Um, That's scary. Let's see here. Feli wants to know, when did you get into Pokemon? Dude, I was... <sighs> Pokemon Red and Blue. When I was like 10 or something. I don't know what year that came out. What year did that come out? Now, do you have a Switch? Yeah. Have you played Sword and Shield? Yes, I have. I I have I have Shield. I like Shield. Shield's cool. Well, when did that come out? Ninety eight. So I was ten years old Ugh. when Pokemon Red and Blue came out. Dude, I'm getting old. I was ah. getting drunk in Canada at that time. <laughs> in ninety eight. Um, let's see. Dizzy yeah, I have Shield. Dizzy says, looking at the wallpaper, favorite space slash galaxy theme, movie, TV, game. favorite like space movie has to be interstellar that movie is insane really that move that the whole entire the theory of that movie mm -hmm. and if that was a real thing that's incredible and then they go to that water planet and they're gone for what 45 minutes and it was and like five years or something like that no it was 30 years yeah. they were gone, or 20 years they were gone that is that's insane if that's a real thing that's that that scares the hell out of me well, that, if I remember correctly, that was a um, Christopher Nolan movie. And I love Christopher Nolan movies. I love them to death. The guy the guy to me cannot make a bad movie. Like that's, and we're talking about the Dark Knight movies. We're talking yeah, about yeah. Uh, Inception. We're talking about. I've never seen Inception. What? I know, I know, I know. <sighs> okay, you're in quarantine. That's got to be on your list. You got to try to see Inception. Seriously. Okay. Inception. There we go. Inception is an amazing game. Or game. Jesus Christ. Amazing I hear, movie. I hear it is. I hear it is absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's about um isn't it about like lucid dreaming or whatever? Yeah, it's about, you know, being in dreams inside of dreams and that and knowing what's what's, movie you know. Night. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um but he yeah, so Christopher movie. Nolan actually has a new one coming out called uh, I want to say it's Incent. But I keep thinking it. Hold on here. Let me just look it up Google, real quick. Google Pants, Mr. Google Pants. I like Josh Whedon as a producer. Yes. Produce some good movies. I love, I love the the Firefly series. I love Serenity. I wish he would make more. There's just Tenant. That's the name of it. Tenant, and it has Denzel Washington's kid as the main uh, character in it. He's in it. Really? Yep. 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 I, hmm, I didn't know he had it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I knew he had a kid, but I've never seen him. God, that ringing is annoying, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, ring doorbell. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, movie night. I need to have a movie night. Firefly is dope. Wish someone would. Do you? I wish they would. I. My father-in-law blew Firefly, Serenity. I didn't get to finish Serenity. I was about halfway in the movie, and it, it and it, it died. Mm -hmm. And then went and saw my father-in-law, and he's like, "Yeah, isn't it crazy that Wash dies?" I'm like, "What? <laughs> I didn't know that." He was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry you didn't finish the movie." <laughs> yeah, you know what Firefly is, Die Hard? Yeah, I know of it. I didn't watch it, but I know of it. That is a series that I wish I wish someone like Panic just said, wish someone would bring that back. It's a it's a a western space. And the dial, it's it's just you gotta check it out. See, I loved um, Stargate the movie, and then I loved when they did the actual show too. I watched those and liked those shows when they came out. Nice, nice. Uh, Panic wants to know: Do you or do you want a vet degree? Like, do you? I have tried one? to get one. I tried okay. to get one. Um, I was living out in Twenty Nine Palms, since the next city over. And the nearest place was Ventura, and it's about three and a half hours away. And I tried to get out there. I was going to do some schooling online, but they wanted me to be in person at the place to learn the stuff. But I just, I had no way to get out there, and I didn't know anybody out there, and I didn't have the money. 
Yeah. So that kind of went, you know. Well, especially with you wanting to do all your own, you know, doing all your own stuff on, you know, on the farm and that, that would be, it'd be really handy to have too, for sure. Yeah. 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 I, I don't like the inside of things. I think it's disgusting. Mm. I think the inside of the body is gross, but I mean, I know some people love it. Right. But I had to just get over it when we, you know, butchered our own chickens and I know like, it might be a little tough for some people to feel, but right. Man, homegrown Sorry chicken. to all the vegans out there. <laughs> man, homegrown chicken is the best. Right. Homegrown so, anything is just great. So you're the one who takes care of all that stuff. The wife doesn't I take get care in. of the animals. That's sometimes. Yeah. She's the one that taught me how to to do it all because she grew up on a farm. Okay. I grew up. Um, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't grow up like that. <laughs> No, not at all. I thought it was gross. I was like, come on. And she talked about doing rabbits, you know, like eating rabbits. I thought I was like, are you kidding me? Right. It's the grossest thing I've ever heard. I grew up with rabbits. Uh, Marita yeah. says, I did a cadaver lab once and I didn't eat meat for a month. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I remember uh, being in, I think, seventh or eighth grade. We had to um, dissect a frog and that was. You, you, never, <laughs> you never did the pig? <laughs> no. Oh, had I, I had to do a pig in high school. That didn't it didn't bother me though. I just re, re, it bothered it. me because of my my the guy I was working with was taking all the organs. I was like, look at how squishy this is. Oh god. Look how squishy. Look at how fun it is. And he's throwing. I'm like, dude. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> it was just yeah. That that would ruin it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was I didn't eat like the entire rest of the day. That was gross. I hear frogs good though. What's the uh, was it? What was it like the first time you had to do it? Were you just did it? Was it really tough for you to get through? What like the chickens? Yeah, yeah, it was tough. It, it's tough. The way you have to do it is it's pretty rough, man. I don't know if you want me to explain it or not. No, we won't get into it. But yeah, I'm just it's not like they say where you t you're not taking the chicken and just. <laughs> no, 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 okay. no. It's 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 humane. It's as yeah. humane as possible. You you. Put them in a bucket upside down they calm down a lot of people will you know they'll so they can bleed out right or you know you put them in the bucket once once the chicken or birds in general are upside down mm -hmm. they completely calm down hmm. you can grab them by their legs and they flap and then eventually they just they just relax it's the weirdest thing wow. but yeah we do a completely humane completely humane Gotcha. And then we skin them too, so it's just boneless, right. you know, just homegrown right. organic chicken. Good um, stuff. Now, here's here's the question that I want to know: is that you don't you don't name the animals, do you? My wife does. Oh, <laughs> that's why we have those damn pigeons still. <laughs> she the... named them. She named one Ducky, and the other one. I don't remember the name. Ducky and something. Oh, the kids don't know that they're named, do they? Yes. Like, oh, is that Ducky, Dad? I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Right, but I'm saying like the chickens and everything. When you go to take care of them, they're not like, oh, oh no. where'd so and so go? I make sure not to name the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> My friend, when we we harvested rabbits with her, and her daughter was right there. She was like eight or nine years old, and they were teaching us how to do it. And she's like, oh. That's mine. That's my pet. That's my baby. I named it this and that. I'm like, are you kidding me, Dave? Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> I was like, you, you, you tell me this now? Yeah. After, you know? I mean, that's all I hear from anybody that takes does that kind of stuff is they're just like, the number one rule is you don't name it. Never. If you no. name it, then it, then you got attachment to it. Dude, yeah, we have three ducks out there. We were supposed to harvest them, but she named them Pips McBanda and another one I don't She's like, it's a Russian Italian duck. She has like a whole backstory for it. <laughs> oh my God. Well, well, sorry, baby. The Russian mafia just came and had to collect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs> it's fun. It's, it's definitely something different. Now are it's you different? Do you guys have plans or want to do like, I, I don't even know if you do it, uh, do cattle in that. Eventually when we get, yes, heck yes. Okay. I would love my own beef, man. Yeah. We, we have to have land. We just don't have dude, – we're literally in a backyard. We we built – we extended the fence like 45 feet. Oh, my God. Like 45 feet. So it's 
we're in literally less than a quarter of an acre okay so we're in a very small area the chickens get to roam around the turkeys get to roam around mm -hmm. but the rabbits they're in their cages gotcha well, that's cool yeah it wolves around band of burgers <laughs> there you go yeah i love it man it's 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 different it's it's definitely different yeah you will never taste meat as long you know oh i'm sure what makes a band of burger i don't know <laughs> But yeah, I, I've never, we haven't done that. I want to try goat too. I really want to try, I hear it's really good. See, I used to go to, um, when my grandfather was alive, he'd take me to wild game dinners and I would go mm -hmm. taste like all different stuff. And like one thing I do know is I do not like gator. Gator is so tough and everything. It's really, just, I've never had gator. It's terrible. That's but how what, roosters are. Yeah. Roosters, just, yeah. You have to, you, dude, you have to get them. You have to like at like two months or the meat, dude, it's like, eating like a shoe dude you have to get them quick oh because how you know they get so they get so big and right yeah they uh the one thing that i do that i used to love was venison steaks because Ooh. they they're like so lean and just so good it's just it's amazing how good that meat is when they cook yeah it. yeah i had venison when i went out to south dakota and i had bison I had a couple, you know. I just want to try different things. Right. Yeah, I had I had a bison burger before. That was really good too, as well. I even had they could... they made um they took venison and made uh, venison chow mein out of it, and it was really? it was good. Yeah. That sounds good. Have you had Have you had a chance to try lengua yet? A what? Lengua. Nope. Cow tongue. No. Man, if you get it, I I know I know it's kind of gross. Well, I've heard people say it that it's 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 really good. It's the best cut of meat that you will ever get. And they shred it. They shred it so it doesn't look yeah. that bad. But, man, lengua is so good, especially lengua tacos. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Hmm. But make sure it's shredded. Right. My, my, my tia, my aunt, she would leave the taste buds. <laughs> she would leave the taste buds? Yeah, she would cut it up in, like, squares and leave the taste buds in there. So you get one, it's like chewing gum. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Assy McGee. The best tongue meat. <laughs> dude, tongue is good, dude. It's really good. Oh, I've man. had some pretty gross stuff, though. Well, is there anybody else that has any more questions for Banda? Please, please, please put them in chat. Will that in pickling spice? I've... I never shredded it. I would cut it up and just put it on some bread. Yeah, man, Ling was good. Hmm. It's weird. It's a. It's huge. Right. My wife refuses. She's like, I don't want to eat something that my animal eats with. See, I've heard. Um, I've never had it, but is it um, beef tripe? I I refuse. Yeah. I refuse. I hear it's so good. I hear it's delightful. It's, but I absolutely refuse to eat intestines. Right. Favorite Ooh. Pink Floyd album or song from Marina? Oh man, the Wall album. Oof. The Wall album and one of my turns. That is. Oh. That is just such an incredible album. I listened to that album for like three months straight. Only that album. Right. That. Oh, yeah, my dad had had the album, dude. Just the, the album itself, the just the cover and everything else is just amazing in it. And I think that's what you that's what you miss. Like even when you when we had CDs and that, you miss that of having that oh, yeah. album where you could open it up and see the pictures and everything else. And the, al the actual album artwork was like the whole was like the big thing too. That album is incredible. You don't really understand that album unless you watch the movie, though. Yes, for you real. You have to watch the movie. It is pretty pretty. It, it's definitely interesting <laughs> if you watch. The it's movie. weird. Yeah. That, that that's that's a weird. Yeah, everybody says you have to be on drugs when you do it, but you just watch it. <laughs> but you yeah. not, are you not a fan of Dark Side of the Moon? Oh yeah, Dark Side of the Moon's a great album. My actual my um my uh, alarm is Us and Them. Okay. Yeah, I wake up to Us and Them every morning. That's a nice wake up. <laughs> I used to listen. I used to wake up to like some death metal, and I because I wake up and have to go to work. Right. But Us and Them is nice to wake up to. Uh, Jam's asking you a question we already asked, but you go ahead and answer it for me now. 
Love Vulpix. Cutest Pokemon ever. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Panic. I appreciate that. No worries, Jam. I figured, you know, when you asked the question, I'm like, oh, yeah, he wasn't here for that. That's okay, though. <laughs> That's why we appreciate all you guys coming in, man. It's we great. weren't we weren't sitting there saying, "Oh no, sorry, Jay, we already answered that." Goodbye. <laughs> uh, no, you're doing it for me. If you read the uh, the announcement, it says to to make sure that you put hashtag podcast at me. Because I get to do that too. Yes. No. Actually, <laughs> I give it to you automatically. Oh, great. Um, yeah, Dizzy, we, uh, you're still doing it to me because it's still a manual process that I have to do, so it adds me, and I know I can see the it light up from, from my notifications when I when I do it. So, all right, Ben, you know what? I'm going to give you the floor here for a little bit, and you can uh, tell, tell the folks some parting thoughts and parting thoughts and uh, whatnot, and, uh, yeah, we'll get you on your way so you can uh, – I don't know. Are you streaming tonight? I am streaming tonight. Okay, everybody, make sure you tune be. in for him at 1230 Eastern. Yeah, if you guys are awake. Three hours from now, he'll be uh, live as well. What are you streaming tonight, bud? I might play a little bit of uh, Paladins, but I will be playing that East game, that RPG that I've been playing on the PC. Okay. That game is, it's nice. It's a fun game. I appreciate it. I really do. Nice, nice, nice. I do. But I, I appreciate you guys so much. I do. We appreciate Everybody you, buddy. In. Believe me, you your your support and what you do does not go unnoticed, Banda. We we love you and we appreciate you being around as much as you as long as you have too as well. I try, I try, I try to get in. I I need to get up to level what is it fifty? Level yeah. fifty? I need to get one of those support force fists, man. Hell yeah! I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's Damn tough right. though, you know. <laughs> it's tough. I uh, believe me, dude. I get it. It was a long grind for me. If you think that's a grind, if you get through it once and then try to go when you go again, that's even a bigger grind. I'm on yeah, the what's, I'm dude, on the um, third time around. Uh, I think really. I think Spectre's on the fourth time around right now. Jeez, you guys are just champions. Dizzy wants to know what's your fist gonna look like. What colors you are you gonna want? I think, I think purple and blue. I don't know yet. I'm still, I'm still debating. Right. Maybe blue and orange. I don't know. I don't know what color. I mean, I'm trying to figure out like a color scheme that looks decent together. Nice. I'm sure you'll everybody, figure out. Yeah, see, everybody does their own thing. Like, you know, Brose has the woods under his, and yep. you have yours. That Doesn't it say Die Hard under it? Yeah, mine says Die Hard underneath it. Yeah, and then I saw Dan. He has the knife coming out. They, see, they, people have really cool stuff. Right. Yeah, blue and orange would be dope to be the bear's colors. Yeah, it'd be new. Like you said, new, too. Nobody nobody has that color scheme in it, too. Make a Vulpix fist? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I'm, like, really... A nine tails fist. It's a fist with nine tails coming off the back of yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> nine fingers. <laughs> I don't know. I just, it's, it's, it's a lot to think of. I just need to get there first. Right. And then eventually... Oh, you will. You will, bro. I wish I could talk more sports with you, man. I'm just not a sport guy. <laughs> well, apparently, yeah. like, the bears... Yeah, I'm from Chicago. I love those Chicago White Sox too. I just it's hard to catch a game when you don't pay for the you know, the 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 MLB the package, right? That's right. Yeah. Well, I don't understand what your Bears are doing picking t- or having ten tight ends on the roster. I was like when I read that I was like because they took one they took a tight end with their first pick of the second round and I'm just like not and they're like, Yeah, now they have ten rostered tight ends. I'm like, why? <laughs> Yeah. We get to line them up know. as linemen and everything, so you just pass the ball to anybody. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't pay enough attention. I like cars. Yeah, I like cars. I've had too many race cars. I've done a lot of stupid things in the past. And do you like NASCAR? Somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat. I like drag drag racing. I like man, just that getting you, in a quarter mile. These cars are going two hundred and you know yeah. over two hundred miles an hour. That's insane. The fastest Honda. I'm a huge Honda guy, and everybody's gonna talk crap, but I am an absolute huge Honda guy. The fastest Honda Civic in the world is Speed Factory Civic. It makes over 2,000 horsepower on a four-cylinder, a two-liter four-cylinder, and it's front-wheel drive, and it runs seven threes at over 200 miles an hour. <laughs> That's insane. Fucking Nancy McGee. Yeah, Mario, right? 
I know. No, he's, he says you look like the guy that did the live action Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> oh, exactly what you're talking about. Everybody calls me Mario. This just doesn't grow in right here for some reason. <laughs> uh, Madeline just wants to know, have you ever done a drag race? Uh, legally, yes. You've done it legally? You actually went on a drag strip and everything? No, illegally. Oh, illegally. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. No, I just, I never, I never took any of my cars to the track. I just didn't want to break axles and then have to drive, you know, three hours home. Right. The closest track is real far from here. All right, Banda, we'll go ahead and say your final thoughts and everything to the folks and uh, we'll get you on your way. I absolutely appreciate all you guys for, for coming in and hanging out. It's, it's great. Um, I know it's, it's, it's tough because I do stream on the West coast and it is tough to get those, um, to get up and stay in. I know some of you guys, by the time I'm streaming, it's midnight and most of you people are asleep and, but everybody that does stick around, I, I appreciate you guys so much and, uh, support for us. You have just been awesome to me. I thank you so much for picking me as, uh, the feature creator. This is just amazing to me i've wanted to be the feature creator since you started doing your you know your your podcast die hard and i thank you guys so much and i'm gonna try to get out there and support you guys as much as i can but everybody thank you thank you so much i appreciate all the love all the support and everybody you're just all amazing thank you well as kaylee just said you deserve it man we we appreciate you we appreciate you know the longevity that you've had here and that you're an awesome content creator and I love watching your streams when I can catch them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but thank Eventually, you. Eventually I'll be in the East coast. So it will be a lot easier. Yeah. There you go. Definitely. And we'll definitely get some games in for sure too. Yeah. So if the world doesn't end by then, but yeah, I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be fine. They just got to milk it for all it's worth before they put out the vaccine for this COVID. Yeah. Well, they're using, aren't they using a malaria vaccine? That's, it's working. There's some of that, but there's also a plasma transfusion that's supposedly working too as well. So mm -hmm. I, re I really want to go get the test because I firmly believe that my wife had it before it was ever anything. Did like, you, did you hear that they found out that people were having it in January? Mm -hmm. they, like literally found that out? Dude. <laughs> Excuse me. They, Conspiracy. Uh, well, my wife actually was hospitalized and everything and they couldn't tell her exactly what was wrong with her and yeah, she, yeah. she she could she had a cough constantly which is one of the signs in that she doesn't think she had it but i'm like i don't know because you go into the hospital and they run every single test they it. can and they can't tell her what's wrong yeah no i think i had it we we my wife and i were sick for dude i was when i get sick because i have a crappy immune system when i get sick i get sick for like three weeks yeah and i have asthma so that especially during the weather and the 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 cold, dude, it just kills my lungs. I think I had it, though. Probably. I mean, it's very possible. And from what I heard, too, is, like, if you thought that this was bad, the next round, when it gets to wintertime and then again, will be worse the second time. What's, what's crazy to me is why do they think that it's going to die off in the summer? Because it can't stay in the heat. But when you're running a fever, it doesn't die off. But you already have it at that time. As far as like living outside of the body and everything, you know. Yeah, I guess like what, six seventy two hours or something. It just yeah. disappears. And I think within you know for the uh, when you're talking about um, the heat and everything, it kills it off, you know, because it won't be able to withstand that. I just, when why would it come back? That's what's weird. Why would it come back? I have no idea. Who knows? It's come. It's good. The conspiracy. Yeah, exactly. Population control. But it's funny because <laughs> it, it scares the hell out of everybody. It really does. But they don't talk about how many people have recovered already from it. Right. Over half a million people. No, 600,000 people. That's insane. I know. I always I look every day at the at the new toll and everything that they have for Michigan for the reported cases in that. And I know it, it has been going down. And when I look at like today, I get the website right here on my phone. Actually, it went back up. At one point, it was at like 400 and something confirmed cases. Now it's shot back up to 1,137, but the deaths have gone down to 103. So, yeah. Who knows what's going to happen? Right, exactly. I don't know. People so. are crazy. I just, it's just the media trying to scare the hell out of everybody. Oh, yeah. 
And with that, everybody, make sure that you stay home and stay safe. Okay, we're flattening this curve. If you don't have yeah, to go cherry. out, don't go out. Okay, really, really. I'm touching your face, Cherry. <laughs> you know, she's. I told her one stream. I ended one of my streams. I said, "Everybody, be safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face." And every single day, she sends me a video of her touching her face every single day. Okay. Well, here's my thing about that. When people say don't touch your face, if you're inside your home, you're staying safe in that. You're not going out there and you're constantly washing your hands. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't matter if you touch your face. It doesn't matter at all. The yeah. one I hate was when people sit there and will put the mask on, but they'll leave it like with their nose open. Like it, the mask goes to here. The mask doesn't cover everything here. It only covers <laughs> here. And I'm like, what the fuck is the point of you having that? You seen the one where the people cut out the middle so they could smoke a cigarette? Yeah, it's oh like useless. God. Come on, dude. Oh, I'll tell you this story real quick. I was at the grocery store and everything. I had my mask on, had my gloves on, and everything. I'm shopping and everything. I look over at this lady at the produce section, and no mask, no gloves. She's going through picking at every bag of grapes and oh, picking what God. she wanted out of it and making her own pack of grapes. Oh, God. I was just like, I'm sitting there going, are you fucking kidding me right now with this? Are you insane lady doing that? <laughs> Ridiculous. That's great. So, but yeah, I want to, I, I got, I want to try to see once they get all the, you know, first responders and everything, frontline workers taken care of, I want to be able to get the test and see if I have the antibodies. Cause I truly think that I, that it, it went around my house. I didn't get sick. But there's no way that my wife was laying next to me, hacking and everything else, and I never got it. Oh yeah, there's no way. There's so, no way. because I'm that's, at, the, that's the only scary thing is how fast it transmits. Right. Because I'm I'm uh, one of those kids that you know back in the day with the chicken pox and that they would say, oh, so and so's got chicken pox, go play with them so you can get it and get it over with. I never got chicken pox. I have chicken pox. I had it. And I have a scar in the middle of my chest from picking at it since I, I was, I got it when I was like seven years old. Now there's a bump right, right. here. I'm touching it because I picked at it. And you're picking at it again now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they think that I'm one of those people that can carry it from one person to another, but I can't get it. Like I'll never break out really of it. That would be really cool if that was a thing. If that, if you can really, that would be crazy. Announcement Die Hard saves the world. Yeah. <laughs> Die Hard's blood <laughs> saves everyone. <laughs> Join support force. Yeah. <laughs> support the support. I'm supporting the world. <laughs> no, yeah. That'd be crazy. But, Banda, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and letting everybody get to know you better. I really, really appreciate the Dude, time, man. You. I know it's not easy with the family and the farm and everything else. I really appreciate you carving out this time. Uh, I think Yeah, this is great. I think everybody out there will agree that they got to know you a little bit better and had fun doing it. I know I did. And I apologize again for the technical difficulties. I have no idea what the hell happened in the middle of that. But, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Banda, thank, thank you again. You. Thank you. And as always, ladies and gentlemen – Always remember that happiness is the state of mind, peace, love, and financial security to all. If you're going to have sex, wear a condom, help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered. And remember, as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay blessed. Have a great night. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Oh, that was amazing, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Great job, dude. Good stuff. That was great. Man, I, I thought I was go I was nervous going into that, man, but that wasn't so bad. I just I mean I know everybody, you know? Right. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's not like people get so, you know, are like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so nervous, and it's like, just don't worry about it. It's just a conversation. It's I expect yeah. everyone to get nervous just because it's something, you know? But listen, we're all friends here, we're all part of the same community, and all we're doing is gonna have a conversation. Heck yeah. That was great. I had a great time. That's that was, good. That was fun. So what's for dinner tonight? Chicken? <laughs> Man, I don't know. That'd be cool, huh? We do have I think we still have some rooster. But like I said, it's really hard. Yeah? Yeah, it's tough. You, you have, like, the breast, you have to fillet it, like, three times. And then tenderize it and then cook it for it to be... Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, rooster's tough to eat. Do you prepare it a certain way too? 
Not normally, no. I just, what do you mean, like the way we process it? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, preparing it with, like, a marinade or something like that to help with it. Because sometimes when stuff's, like, really tough like that, if you prepare it a certain way, like, just the, the spices and everything that you use, or, so, you know, even have, like, the the meat tenderizer that you can sprinkle on it and that and just let it sit with it for a while no not normally no i just usually uh, just cook it in olive oil and salt and pepper you're supposed to marinate rabbit though because it's um, so lean is that the word i'm looking for is lean yeah it's just so white that you can't cook it under you have to cook it under a sauce because it burns so fast and cooks huh have you had rabbit before I think I have, like those wild game dinners. I think I've had it there. Oh, yeah. I, I guess there's there's wild rabbit and homegrown rabbit are completely different. Gotcha. I've never had, like, gamey rabbit before. My wife said that she's pretty sure she's eating, like, squirrel and all that, too. <laughs> right. Heck, yeah. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little rough, but, you know put food on the table and you know it's good for you well the nice thing too is right now with everybody fighting for stuff at stores and that you're like i'm good dude but we can't that's what really sucks because where i live in san bernardino county there's a ban right now and it's um there's a disease going around called newcastle's disease that's been going around for like two years and it's killing the birds they get sick and it spreads super fast and it kills the birds Guests on this episode of Support Force Live will receive 2,500 experience points. Remember, everybody, 